people Let's who are affected by it. So my question is this. What the hell did he just say? And how many of us sound like that? Now, he must be an important guy because he's in the backseat of a car being driven by somebody, and they're filming him. So he must have something of importance, but he did not communicate it in any language that I could understand. And I've heard some of us speak that way, too. So we've got to have a great way to communicate what it is that we believe and do so that we can serve the people that we were intended to serve. So then the question is, where do we get this philosophy? Where do we get this information? If you were a, a minister or a priest, where would you get your information to serve your people? Anybody? The Bible, right? If you were a rabbi, you might go to the, the Torah. If you were a medical physiologist, you might go to Guyton. Right? So where do we as chiropractors go? A green book is great. And there's one in particular. This is the 14th volume written by Stevenson, which is called the Chiropractic Textbook. Now, I think this is something that... Does anybody have this book? Does anybody not have this book? Who wants to buy my copy? No. This, if, if you're a chiropractor or a chiropractic student, you must have this in your library. You must have read this. Uh, how many of you were here this morning with Joel Kinch and did the, the Green Book study? Okay. We spent 45 minutes this morning to cover four lines. Because what's in here is so significant to what we do and an understanding of what we do that you've got to study this. So, so what about this book? Well, if you want to know about chiropractic philosophy, uh, and, and what we're going to do is we're, going to, we're not going to leave the Roman numeral pages tonight. We're still, we haven't hit the chapters yet. But this particular book, if we look, it says chiropractic philosophy. So now we have a nice definition, and it is the explanation of chiropractic. It explains the why of everything chiropractic. The explanation of cause and effect. It embraces the chiropractic view of all the studies concerned in its science. That's what we define our chiropractic philosophy as. It goes on to say, while chiropractic philosophy is but one of the infinite number of philosophies and of a, a special science, it should be kept in mind that it is enough for a lifetime study. Which means you could take your whole lifetime as a chiropractor and get through this and continue to study it and still not know everything that there is to know. That should challenge us. It says chiropractic is a radical science. I know this makes Liam Schubel excited when he hears things about radical because he's a rascal, but he likes this. It is a right about face in the method and in reason. It is contrary to the methods of healing in common use in the world. Didn't we just hear that from Donnie Epstein, that we're not like anybody else? We are not an alternative to anything else. We are who we are, and we should be proud of who we are, because we're different. Thank you. Here's something to chew on. It is not always understood by those who practice it, and many of these persons doubt because of their misunderstanding. How many of us have seen chiropractors who misunderstand that which we do, the philosophy of chiropractic. That's why we end up with the Winter Steins or Steens. They're confused. They probably haven't even taken the time to study our textbook. It's our textbook. So anybody could write a book, true? Has anybody written a book here? Okay. All, anybody. Oh, Dr. Schubel, perhaps you have a smash shit you want to tell us about. <laughs> Sit your ass down, okay. How would you feel if this particular book was endorsed by the developer of chiropractic? Would that lend a little bit more credence to this? I think so. In fact, it says Dr. Palmer's letter of approval of the chiropractic textbook. Now, here's what he says. Of all the books written and compiled on chiropractic philosophy, this is by far the best, not exceeding my own. Humility. The one great, grand, and glorious thing you have done has been to compile the many principles which are in my writings into a systematic, organized manner, building them from a simple to higher form so that any layman inclined could investigate and find out what chiropractic is, is not, what it does, does not, how and why it does what it does. You have clearly, carefully, consistently compiled the many principles of chiropractic into a readable, understandable book, simple enough for the layman, deep enough for the savant. Now, this is where I disagree with, with BJ 
in terms of how he thinks this is something that a layman can understand, because most of us chiropractors can't understand it. Nonetheless, who's going to argue with BJ? He's our man. And it says, your work can now be used as a handbook. So we have this to study from. And I suggest that if you're going to do this, you do this in groups. In the Bay Area, we have a group called the Underground. We meet every third month, Wednesday of the month. We spend three hours dissecting out this book, starting with the freshman text. It's written in four uh, freshman software, junior and senior texts. If you're really lazy, you can just read the, the bolded part. But if you really want to delve into what's in this book, read it all, study it, dissect that with someone who can mentor you through this process, because quite frankly, this is one of the greatest things that we've got, our philosophy, which is based upon our 33 principles, which we never even talked about this weekend, and certainly not this morning. But spend some time in the book. Dee Dee Palmer said, study the principles, and in time, you may begin to understand the philosophy. It's going to take some work. So who is the philosophy for? It's for us. It's for the chiropractors. I don't think that we need to go and take this information and push it down our, our patients or practice members' throats. That's not what we need to do. Who has, who's heard of tell the story? Tell, what does that mean? What story are we telling? 63, thank you. Yeah, so actually, again, if you want to find out what's, what's chiropractic, pass it through the book. There's actually on page 63, it's called The Story. Why wouldn't you want to start there? If you have questions about nutrition, is it chiropractic? Pass it through the book. It's in here. It's a sophomore text. If you want to know about uh, exercise, pass it through the book. It's in here. If you want to know about addictions, it's in here. So why is it so important for us to have this handle on our philosophy? Philosophy, if you have a great handle on it, allows us to have a rational foundation. It enables to establish core values and it acts as a moral compass. Now, why would that be important? I learned something from Arno, a lot of things from Arno. In fact, I could listen to this guy all the time. It's not because of his French accent, it's because of the content of what he speaks about. But he talked about certainty, and I will never use the word certainty again, I'm gonna use the word clarity. So thank you for making that clear. My next presentation will never have that word on it again. But it allows us to be clear about who we are and what we do, and how can we serve the people that come to us. It allows us to have an identity. And why is that important? Because having an identity allows us to have a mindset. And when you have a mindset, you know that you know what you know. It allows you to have thoughts which create actions within results. This is highly essential for all of us to know these things. And why is that so important? Because otherwise, you'll be rubbing people's feet. That's not chiropractic. It's, it ain't in this book to rub people's feet. I like to have my feet rubbed, but I wouldn't ask a chiropractor to do it. So when you're clear about what you do, you won't find yourself doing this, or colonics, or anything else that we do, all the nonsense that we see. So when you're certain, you can then approach things on a rock. And I want to tell you two stories. One is about someone named Evan, and the other is about someone named Mary. This is a picture of me on the left. This is a picture of Evan on the right. Evan's my son. He just turned five. I know, five, old guy, it happens. So Evan is our treasure. When my wife was pregnant with Evan, she had spent most of her time in Strasbourg, France, completing her master's degree in space engineering. She's a rocket scientist. And when she was in France, she decided that she wanted to have a home birth when she got back to the States. And the one thing you don't do is argue with a pregnant woman. Whatever they want to do, you do. And so we began independently looking online for midwives in our, in our area. We live in the San Francisco Bay Area, who we thought would be really good for this process. And we both agreed independently on the same midwife, Rosanna Davis. And so when she came back to the States, we spent time with Rosanna Davis and her midwives, and we learned what the process was going to be like to deliver our child at home. We went to all the classes. We, we, we picked up the, the, the tub that they get provide you. We had all the liners for the floor. And Eva was due on August 11th. And July 30th, we're at the veterinarians. And Erin looks to me, my wife, and says, my water just broke. And like any husband, I freaked. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? 
So I said, well, what are we going to do? And she says, well, how about if you call Rosanna? That's kind of what the process was. And so I called Rosanna. I said, Rosanna, Aaron's water broke, and, and, and what do we do? And she says, go home. I said, but when we get home, what do we do? She says, do the process. I said, but you won't be there. She says, we'll get there. Just get things ready. Now, had we known that he was going to be born soon, we would have had the tub ready. So we didn't have the tub ready that she was going to go ahead and dunk into. But fortunately, we had a large downstairs, uh, in our downstairs bathroom, a big jacuzzi tub. So we filled that up, 